When it comes to renovation, if you don't know the price, I'm not too surprised it came in over budget. You don't know much. First time, whoa. Oh. That's why you always, what did you guys spend? Price it out. For the next half hour, we're going to show you side-by-side -side room renovations. And you're going to guess which cost more. If you guess right, you win a priceless feeling of personal satisfaction. Oh yeah. If you guess wrong, ah. we'll send Michelle Duggar to perm your curtains. Think these soapstone countertops are pricier than composite? Find out in moments on Price It Out. Let's kick it off in Minnesota, where a couple of couples want cooler kitchens. Meet couple number one. Aaron and Cassie may live in a log house, but they don't want a primitive kitchen. Well, my vision is I just want to take a sledgehammer to it all. Oh. Always a fun way to start. It's demolition day. Nice. Yay! Uh. To complement the home's character, they choose natural high-end materials. So it's out with the old cabinets and in with the new. Then soapstone countertops replace the old Formica. Plus a new slate backsplash. Next, they stain and seal the log walls to make the kitchen brighter and cleaner. Refinish the floor. Replace the windows, install a new range, new lighting, and a farmhouse style sink to finish it off. Elsewhere in the Great North, Nick and Jessica's craftsman home has a kitchen that's big. Yeah, it's a really good size for a bungalow. But barely functional. So it's demolition time. They want to mix traditional and modern. So they lose the linoleum and replace it with hardwood. Move the sink beneath the window. Add new cabinets to the existing ones. And upgrade the mother of pearl tile. New countertops, new fixtures, new dishwasher equals new kitchen. Looks traditional and modern to me. When you pull these walls down, you never know what you're gonna see. I see success. But now it's time to ask the question. Who spent more to remake their kitchen? Was it Aaron and Cassie or Nick and Jessica? Well, if you chose Nick and Jessica, you chose wrong. Let's price it out. Nick and Jessica's biggest spend was on the kitchen's new range with its hooded vent. That plus the new appliances and custom cabinets cost $12,026. These composite countertops were only 1800 bucks. Add in flooring and electrical, and all the other goodies, and they totaled out at 24,609 bucks. It really blows me away at what it, it looks like. You don't have to pretend anymore. But I like to pretend. Okay, let's see what Aaron and Cassie spend on that log stravaganza. The big ticket items, custom cabinets, and $4,400 soapstone counters. It cost $3,050 to refinish those walls. A new range. Then another $1,400 for the sink and faucet. Lights and accessories, and various building materials. For a total of $26,000. Two grand more than the other guys. If you guessed wrong, don't sweat it. Here's the chance to change your luck. If you have a small room that you'd like to get more use from, then you know how these folks feel. First, Luke and Courtney, who want to make a sunroom out of their boring entryway. It's the first room everyone sees when they walk into the house. Right. Yeah, that's what entryway means. But the bad paneling and dropped ceiling and lame linoleum have to go. The first step, insulation, heating, and cooling. Then new windows to let in more light and overhead recessed lighting. Here come the hardwood floors and molding. Then a new front door and wrought iron railing to replace the ugly old stuff. The result, a sunny spot to hang your coat or just to hang. Now, let's put that up against another little room that needs some love. It's supposedly a bedroom, but I mean, yes. who would really use this as a bedroom space? but they would use it as a mudroom and laundry room. 
So, let the building begin. Nice. That's important. See how helpful I am? They start by installing a stackable washer and dryer. Then they add cabinets and a sink. Replace all the doors, add a new window, build a bench, and install a storage system. That wasn't so bad. It was quite good, actually. Who spent more to spiff up their small space? Was it Luke and Courtney with their sweet new sunroom? Or was it Kevin and Nicole on their laundry slash mudroom? Your job is to think about it. And guess who spent more? My job is to tell you the answer when Price It Out returns.